Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss yet another important Tableau interview questions that were shared by a subscriber. Let us thank him before we start you know, on this. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So the company was Tech Mahindra and the role was Tableau developer. Experience was five plus. Skill set they were expecting was Tableau, obviously, and then Snowflake uh, was required. And then uh, concepts on ATL and warehousing was also you know, mentioned in the uh, JD that was shared. So now let us see the first question that was asked. How do you use two measures? So to, to use two measures in Tableau, we can either use the concept of uh, dual axis or you know we can put them together so here what is important like you know you, we can talk about you know uh, like dual access concept and when can we use this when we are working with multiple measures or two measures to be specific we can use the concept of dual access here we can use dual access we can use combined access both of them we can use. So how can we use that? If you know, uh, if I just take uh, maybe a region, if I take, okay, and uh, drop it here, and then I can bring my sales in here, and I can also bring my profit. I can either use a side-by-side -side chart. This is my, you know, side-by-side -side chart, or I can use, uh, dual access concept how can i use dual access concept let us just remove this i'll remove this as well uh, i'll just put uh, sales here and then i'll just pull put profit here right click on this use dual access and this is the concept of dual access that we can use i can go to all Convert it into bar chart. I got this two, and then we also need to synchronize the axis. Maybe I can just adjust the size of one to get one on top. This is your dual axis thing, like two measure using two measures. So you can talk about dual axis, combined axis, and when we can go with this. Next is how do you connect a snowflake with Tableau? This is again an important question. Okay, so why? Because see. Connecting to Tableau uh, is okay. Connecting to Snowflake is not readily available in Tableau. Okay, so if I go here, we have some you know, connected to a server option in this. These are the different types of data sources available, right? So in this, some of some are readily available, but but for some you need Snowflake drivers or drivers you need to connect them. Like say, if I go here and search for Snowflake, if I click on this, it will ask me to first download this process, like download and connect. So you need to click on this, go to download driver, and you will get the process here. Okay, so you just log in here and you can download the files and you can uh, connect the files. So if you need a dedicated video on this, do let me know because I have to set up Snowflake as well and then show you the method. But you, you just need to theoretically, if I speak, download the drivers from here and install that drivers in your PC. And then once you do that, you will be able to connect it to this. Okay, so import, remember this step at least from theoretical perspective. Context filters, disadvantages, we will know too many context filters will you know, decrease the performance of your dashboard, but one or two is okay. Difference between extract and incremental refresh. So now what is extract refresh? Generally, when, whenever we want to uh, you know, refresh our data source, we use the concept of extract refresh, right? Or refreshing the extract we have created. Incre in this, what happens? The entire refresh, I mean, the entire data source that we have created or the entire extract that we have created will get recreated every time the DB is getting refreshed. I mean, the job is getting, you know, uh, create, recreated or refreshed. Incremental means instead of creating the entire file again, only the new records are added to that. Okay, that is something that we need to understand. So if I go here, maybe I'll click on this and I'll go to data source here. And if I convert it into extract, and uh, if I go here, now the extract is being created. See here, I'll just click on save. Maybe I'll just replace it. I'll 
I'll click on, okay, it is running. So I'll go back here, click on edit. And uh, here incremental refresh option is there. How do you want to refresh? Okay, so all of this we want to speak like saying, okay, so we can set this and then we can use, okay, that is your incremental refresh. Simple, remember it, extract means it will recreate your extract every time the refresh is run. Incremental means adding only new records. So when do we go for this? When the size of your data is very huge in that situation, so we will go for incremental refresh. Otherwise, we will go for extract. Now, what is the difference between data source filter and extract filter? Again, a very common point to get confused. This is live data, right? So if I click on this, this is live data. Now, when you are adding a filter here, the filter is applied on your live data. Okay. But when you are clicking on this and you are applying, you want to apply a filter to this, that becomes your extract filter. Here you will go and apply on whatever you want. Okay. So this you are applying to the extract you are creating. So the this difference you need to understand. Okay, so here you are applying in live, you are applying it to live data. Extract means only to the extract you are getting, you are creating. That is your difference between your uh, data source filter and extract filter. Suppose I have three dashboards. How can I apply same filter to all the sheets? Comment in the comment section and let me see how many of you know the answer to this. Okay, this is something that you should know. Okay, we can use actions, we can use filters, we can use, you know, uh, share as filters, all of that we can use and we can do it. Okay, now how can I show top five and last five in same view? Again, there are multiple approaches. You can use a set concept here. Okay, set concept. So create it in a three sets. One for top five. Okay, again, and another for bottom five. And on top of this, you will be creating another set called as combined set and you will be using that. That will give you top five or bottom top five and bottom five in the same way. This is one method or the other method that many of you use is using a rank concept. Okay, these are the two methods you can use to solve this. Okay, I think a detailed video is again present in our channel, but do let me know if you, if you want me to recreate this, I can you know create a separate video on scenarios asked from this video. How to show subcategories starting with S. Okay, how can you write? Okay, again, there are multiple ways that you can use. Either you can go here. Uh, I'll use subcategory. Drop it here. And again, if I just try to Okay, I'll go to wildcard. I can use starting with S. This is my, it okay, starts with this. I can use this option, okay? Or what is the other approach? We, we can also use calculations to find that, okay? So, so we also have uh, starts with, uh, S, what is the substring? Subcategory. So click on apply. Okay, so if I bring this onto my filter shelf, uh, everything is false here. Where it is edit. I click on false. Okay, everything is going into false. Okay, but this is the calculation that we can use to find out if if my subcategory is starting with yes or not. Okay, so something is wrong uh, in this.
okay yeah i need to check uh, but this is a word you can use uh, and you can also use other functions like say left function and all to find out next is what is index and type of index so generally why do we use index index we use for faster data retrieval it improves your select performance that is one thing okay and then efficient searches because it assigns a row number to your data so it speeds up your join condition you now your order by clauses the performance of your query increases okay next is like index types he is asking okay so we have primary index unique index clustered index non clustered index composite index full text index and bitmap index these are the different types of index functions that are available okay so i'll paste this in the description maybe you can copy it and remember it next is you know have you ever used ct in your sql this is pretty straightforward yes or no you can answer and based on that you will get some questions again truncate delete drop differences he asked okay so dropping deleting and truncating one is only deleting the data one is deleting uh, only table and one is you know dropping everything so that is the difference that you need to remember so some questions on data warehouse and data modeling were asked okay so these were the questions that were asked i think the overall it was a mid level interview i felt okay so tableau wise i think we should be in a good state to answer all of them sql wise you could answer it till here but uh, if you do not have data warehousing concepts maybe here you would have not answered so i suggest you to start focusing on warehousing concepts as well so that you can it cover this remaining 20% of also from your interview with that said you know we we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day